What if I told you that quitting sugar for 30 days could reset your brain chemistry, shrink your waistline, clear your skin, rebalance your hormones, and even help you feel joy again without needing a single supplement? Yeah, it's that powerful, but only if you give your body the full 30 days to heal. In this video, I'm going to walk you through exactly what happens to your body when you quit sugar for 30 days. Not just what you'll feel, but the science behind why you feel it, the mechanisms, the transformation zones. And stick with me to the end because the final change, the one most people never talk about, is the one that can completely change your relationship with food forever. Now you may have seen other videos that promise benefits in just seven to 14 days. And while that's true, real change, lasting metabolic cellular change, takes closer to 30. Here's why. Neuroplasticity takes approximately 30 days to rewire reward circuits. Gut microbiota shifts meaningfully within 28 to 30 days. Hormonal feedback loops like insulin, leptin, and cortisol stabilize more completely after three to four weeks of consistency. So this isn't a challenge, it's a reset. Let's dive into the seven zones of transformation that come from 30 days without sugar. Number one, your brain dopamine reset. Let's start with the real sugar addiction center here, which is your brain. Sugar doesn't just taste good, it hijacks your dopamine pathways. The same ones involved in cocaine, or a nicotine addiction. It overstimulates the nucleus accumbens, making natural pleasures feel dull by comparison. But after 30 days off sugar, dopamine receptors begin to resensitize. You start feeling joy in real life again. Music, movement, connection, even foods that actually are good for you. Mechanism, D2 receptor density increases. Dopamine spikes return to baseline. Translation, you're no longer chasing that next sugar hit to feel normal. Number two, your gut microbiome shift and inflammation drop. Sugar is a feast, not for you, but for the worst residents in your gut. Candida, pathologic bacteria, and even viruses thrive on simple sugars. They produce gas, toxins, and inflammation that manifests as bloating, brain fog, and skin issues. After 30 days without sugar, beneficial bacteria like bifidobacteria can repopulate. Inflammatory endotoxins like LPS drop. Less inflammation, less gassiness, less belly discomfort. Mechanism, reduced substrate equals less fermentation, equals less permeability, equals a gut lining that's healing instead of leaking. Number three, your hormones. Sugar hijacks your hormonal orchestra. It spikes insulin, leading to leptin resistance, so you never feel full. It causes blood sugar crashes, which drive cortisol up. And in women, it contributes to estrogen dominance. But when you dish sugar for 30 days, leptin signaling improves. Hunger becomes self-regulating. Cortisol spikes flatten. You feel calmer, more grounded. PMS symptoms, hot flashes. Many report these ease up because sugar was a hormone saboteur all along. Number four, your appetite. You're not supposed to be hungry every two hours. And when you are, you have a metabolism problem. It's a crisis. Sugar keeps you on a blood sugar roller coaster. You spike, you crash, you crave, repeat. But by week two or three of no sugar, you naturally gravitate towards two or three meals a day. Cravings become whispers instead of screams. You start eating when you're hungry, not when you're bored, anxious, or tired. Mechanism? Lower insulin equals better access to stored fat equals more satiety from meals. Number five, your sleep. Ever wake up at 3 a.m. and can't fall back asleep? That might have been your blood sugar crashing. When you remove sugar, you flatten the glucose swings. You reduce nighttime cortisol surges. You get more time in deep and REM sleep. And yes, sleep is when your body burns the most fat and detoxifies the brain. 30 days sugar free could literally change how you sleep for life. Number six, your skin and joints. Sugar doesn't just age you, it glycates you. Advanced glycation end products, abbreviated AGEs, form when sugar sticks to proteins and fats. That means you end up with wrinkles, stiff joints, inflammation that feels like I'm just getting old. 
but give your body 30 sugar-free days and collagen breakdown slows, inflammation markers drop, your face glows, your knees feel younger. I've had patients say, I look like I got a facial and a cortisol shot, but I just stopped sugar. Number seven, fat burning mode. Here's the part you've been waiting for. After 30 days without sugar, your body becomes a fat burning machine. Your liver reduces fat storage. Your mitochondria gets better at using fat for fuel. Your energy feels steady, not hyped up, but clean. Mechanism, improved insulin sensitivity, carnitine shuttle activation, and more stable glucagon signaling, which leads to fat loss without hunger. This is what metabolic freedom feels like. Here's the bonus. The greatest change after 30 days without sugar. It's not your waistline, it's who you become. You become someone who doesn't need sugar to cope. Someone who sees through the processed food trap. Someone who feels again, sleeps again, heals again. And that, that's the kind of transformation that lasts. And if you're ready to become that person, start your 30 day no sugar journey today. If you've done it before, drop a comment and tell us what changed. If you're starting now, say I'm in below and check in every week. And if you want to live the life of a carnivore who of course is living sugar free, check out the video on the screen. It'll guide you through the basics of the carnivore diet. It isn't just about what you quit, it's about who you become. I'll see you in the next video.